what's up? How you doing today? I fixed my buddy's old uh, Craftsman uh, angle grinder. It's an old Made in USA one. And uh, all I did was replace the switch, which was a cheap little switch. And uh, I think it's too scrawny for this big of a tool that's using 10 amps. But this one said it's rated for 15, which is, seems kind of hard to believe. That looks more like a little electronic switch of some sort but uh anyway um, it says it's a mcgill brand so i didn't know the skateboarder mike mcgill made those made switches to have his brand name signature on it but it's just a direct replacement of this one the one i replaced it with says it's rated about half the amp so we'll see how long it lasts but I don't know where in the world to get these. I got them from um, my school where I teach part-time. We had a, a drawer full of them, and I don't even know what we're using them for at school but uh, or where we got them. So, but I also had to replace this little terminal that was hanging by a thread of the stranded wire. And uh, it's just a direct replacement. The flathead, two little flathead screws hold it in there and there on the corners. But this was a piece of the big mechanical switch that operates the little switch and uh, seems to be working okay without it but uh, they skimped on that plastic on that design there um, I think it's probably just old Bakelite brittle Bakelite like the old phones were made out of but anyway if you find out where you can get these switches um, those little things uh, send me a message or leave a comment appreciate it um, Maybe I'll find out sometime soon, but anyway. Hopefully you can get your uh, old classic 7-inch grinder rocking again. And uh, when you're really rocking. Uh, sounds like this.